Hi, uh, everybody said they couldn't hear me clearly, so I've got the silly things on, which I don't like to use when I'm doing talking to you guys, but I guess I'm going to have to for the time being. Uh, I'll work something out with a different camera. But uh, uh, So I'm going to do the uh, mind massing again, like this, so you can hear me better. Right, you do Michael's uh, soul massing uh, uh, demonstration, which is a joint thing that we do to, uh, together. It says Michael does, uh, explains it. Then you come and sit down, have the legs crossed or feet flat on the floor with your hands on your knees. Uh, you can cross your legs because when you cross your legs, it makes your bottom your feet. So it's all right to do that one uh, as well. The reason we're sitting down is because we need to be really relaxed for this. And then pull a soul mass that you've just created back into yourself. Take it to your heart chakra, which isn't here, which is here. Okay, if you run your fingers down your body, you'll feel the heart chakra here. Now, it'll feel uncomfortable, and that'll be where you go, ooh, that's not, that's, and you go, Oh, okay, that's where my heart is. Okay, because that's your center point, which is the heart of all your energy. And it usually swirls in a clockwise direction. If you're externalizing, it'll go in an anti-clockwise direction. It means pushing the out energy, sucking in the energy is clockwise. So, first you bring it in. Take your energy in and condense it. Hold it there, bring the mind down into it, join that energy. Usually when you know you've got that, you'll feel your body actually rocking a bit and wanting to move. Allow it to do so and relax into it. And stop it, stop the energy flow, but hold it there. And breathe it out with your mind attached. Push it out further and further. Let it flow out, it becomes like a dome. Everything that you feel, you can see now. Push it out as far as you can think you can go with it. You'll start to get patterns, like dots and things in your eyes, even with your eyes closed. Then allow them to form images, and you'll see exactly where you are. For every outwards direction, there's an upwards. Just keep pushing. Push to where the mind almost becomes silent. After a while, you'll actually even start seeing different faces. And you'll know that you're, you've made your mind mass go that far by for instance, you'll start seeing faces of African, Chinese, Americans, no trouble with Americans, they all look alike. Okay, now you got your mind. Now, then think upwards at the same time, and you'll notice that you're actually sitting in the atmosphere. You're no longer sitting on the earth. Look up. There's the moon. Reach out to that. Stretch yourself out. Don't worry, you're not going to get lost. Your energy always knows its way back. Your soul, mind mass will always come back. Your soul mass will bring it back. Allow it to go there. Stretch it to the moon. Now we're just going to the moon to start with. 
you can start exploring the universe as you go and go to the sun as well. Right, once you reach the moon, look back at the earth and you'll notice that your your mind mass will actually be encompassing a whole earth because of the distance you've traveled. Just relax into it. Just be. Let yourself be there. Just be. Look around. You'll also notice that it has a very calming effect on you, knowing that you can do this. And there's no one thing you know, notice because you're not doing an OBE and you're still connected to your body and your soul, heart. You feel very relaxed because you know that you're still connected. Now bring it back in nice and slowly, hold it back down, bring it back into yourself, but don't bring it all the way into yourself. Leave your consciousness on the soul mass that you've created, which makes it a mind mass overlay. Not too far, because you don't want to become scattered. And the benefits to this is, if anybody comes into your sphere, you will feel them and automatically scan them and know how who they are, how they are, how they're feel, thinking, feeling towards you and for others. It's a good way of finding kindred spirits and so on. Now relax back into yourself, open your eyes up and you'll notice that you seem to have two lots of vision. One is the vision of what you're looking through your eyes and without trying you see the soul mass as well. You can even look behind yourself. This is one of my favorite techniques. I'm sharing it with you guys so you can um, go through the course a lot simpler and quicker. So when you have success in this, I'd like you to um, share it and tell me what your experiences are. Tell me if you're having trouble with it and I'll see if I can uh, work out why you're having trouble with it. But I'm pretty sure that all of you are going to be capable of doing this. It's very simple and it's very straightforward. Alright, blessings to all. Have a beautiful day. And if you do this, you will. It's a little trick. It's how I stay focused. And still know what's going on everywhere. Love you all.